Happy April Fools. If it's not April Fools, but you are, trust me, this was released in Australia on the right date. And if it's nowhere near April Fools when you're watching this, then sorry for making this video outdated. A slight pet peeve of mine is when YouTubers, without fail, release a half-hearted bait video on April Fools, leaving viewers blue-balled and without decent content uploaded on the site for a day. I refuse to conform to this system and to make my stance, I will make content for the viewer and not at their expense on April Fools from now on. These videos will stray from my usual upload type, so despite that I hope you enjoy it. And as the title suggests, we will be answering the age old question, just how much money is lost per vomit. Contrary to popular belief, food and drink that are consumed are not liabilities. Sure, technically you aren't getting your money back after you eat it, but the nutrients you gain from it sustain you to keep living, so that's a big asset in my books. Vomiting however, that's a liability because you've just lost all those nutrients and to work out just how much is lost, I'll look at a handful of movie scenes where beverages are rebirthed. This will be done by working out how long the contents of the stomach have been digested and converting the currency of the film into current day Australian dollars because why not? Films excluded from the list are ones set in the future or fictional planets because there's no way I can work out if androids suggest at the same rate as humans. You with me so far? Let's go. Team America World Police is the first movie to use the communal upchuck bucket and before any complaints are made, these puppets act like humans so for me, so does their digestive tract. The scene starts at a bar where main character Gary is considerably drunk and a forewarning, most of these vomits are from alcohol consumption so sorry if you wanted variety from these. Pausing at this scene, you can see that 4 mugs of beer and 4 shots of spirits have been ordered but around 9 tenths of a beer is left across them and there's an untouched shot. Assuming the bar charges $6 per beer and $5 a shot, the total consumed would be around $33.60. Considering Gary is drunk, we'll assume a few hours have passed since he started drinking and, for argument's sake, we'll say it takes 24 hours for beverages to be fully digested and therefore all nutrients to be extracted. Around $4.20 has been digested going by this logic, leaving all of the remaining $29.40 worth of alcohol to be violently thrown up. Since this is set in a puppet version of 2004, the inflation rate would leave this at $34.67 and converting this figure to Australian dollars the total loss will be $45.37 and probably a few loose organs with how much is thrown up. Next movie up to take a shot is The 40 Year Old Virgin and in this scene Andy is trying to pick up a chick Nikki at a club. Throughout talking to her, Nikki takes a total of 3 shots costing $15 before driving home for approximately 10 minutes before vomiting. A small mouthful of vomit means that about half of the shots were lost and around 5 cents worth of that was suggested, so 7.45 worth of shots was lost. After imparting the vomit onto Andy, Nikki also imparts to us that a daiquiri was consumed. Assuming the cost was around $13 and it was consumed a few hours ago, the digestion rate would leave around $11.40 unconsumed. Taking into account that the daiquiri was more consumed in the shots, I'd say only about 80 cents worth was lost in the vomit and if this is biologically wrong, for the sake of the video, it's right. This $8.25 in 2005 would be worth around $11.11 .11 today, and converting the US dollar to the Australian dollar would mean $14.54 was lost, as well as the opportunity to sleep with Steve Carell. The bench warmers certainly doesn't see any seats heated up with vomit, but it certainly sees 12 year old Carlos get drunk during a baseball match. Prior to him going onto the field, Carlos has two bottles of beer, and since I'm assuming these were bought in a carton, those would cost $4 all up. Some canned beer and tequila is bought for him and he consumes them throughout the game. Before going up to pitch for the last time, 10 cans can be seen littered around, and assuming each can was around 3.30, this would total $33. A mouthful of what looks like a 200ml bottle of tequila was left, and assuming the bottle cost $10, about 9.25 of it was consumed. Around 40 minutes would have passed since the first two beers were had, so I'd say 390 wasn't digested, and around 20 minutes would have passed since the other alcohol was consumed, so about 4167 wasn't digested. Since the vomit was on the small side, I'm going to say about 1389 was lost doing so, and the inflation rate from 2006 would mean this cost 1812. Converting to Australian dollars, poor Carlos lost a total of $23.71. 
Open season sees the bear protagonist Boog go on an eating spree at a grocery store, but prior to that, he eats a chocolate bar with a bite already taken from it. Assuming each chocolate bar is $2, about one twelfth of the bar is missing, so that's already $1.84. Getting inside the shop about 10 minutes later, four more bars are eaten for another $8, and a bear mouthful of slushy on top of that. Eyeballing that, I'd say it's the equivalent of two large slushies and around $6. Next, Boog eats a whole sugar sachet, costing around 5 cents, and around 20 minutes later, he vomits a mouthful out. Within this vomit, we can add Fruit Loops and Goldfish Crackers to what he ate, totaling to $12. Since grizzly bears take around 20 hours to completely digest something, we assume 4 cents worth was digested of the original chocolate bar, and 65 cents was consumed of the 26 and 5 cents worth of food at the store. Given the size of the vomit, I'd say around $9 was lost and the inflation rate from 2006 means that would be $11.74. This amount in Australian dollars would cost Boog $15.36 or rather the humans who have to pay for it. American Pie Presents the Naked Mile sees the stifler for the movie compete in a drinking competition with a band geek. In frames better displaying the overturned shot glasses, 10 can be seen and the band geek takes another shot before starting a wet t-shirt competition. Since these shots are from a 750ml bottle of rye whiskey and the average shot is about 30 mils, that would mean about 330 mils was consumed. Since the bottle is around $50, we can assume $22 was instantly wasted and there was enough vomit for all of it to be excreted. The inflation rate from 2006 would leave the amount at $28.70 and converting that to Australian dollars, this poor soul lost a drinking game and $37.64 worth. The movie used in the thumbnail, Kingpin, sees retired bowling champion Roy start his day off with a swig of Jack Daniels. Seeing as a 750ml bottle goes for 45 bucks and around 20 mils was consumed in that mouthful, about $1.20 worth of alcohol started off his day. Later on in the day, we see Roy with a coffee cup that he got from a drugstore in a deleted scene from the uncut version. While we don't know how much the coffee cost, I'll assume it was around a dollar with a few mouthfuls gone. Around 20 cents was consumed. Later, we see Roy drinking a another coffee from a coffee bag and only one mouthful is drunk before the landlady comes in. Assuming each coffee bag costs 35 cents, only 3 cents was consumed. Since Roy faked saving the landlady before to get on a good side, he needs to suck clit to pay the rent and the experience is so horrid he throws up everything consumed. Since a few hours had passed since the Jack Daniels was had, I'll assume 15 cents was digested, leaving a total of $1.28 lost in the vomit. With the inflation rate from 1996, this increases to $2.15, and converting with Australian dollars, Roy loses $2.82 in his dignity, but at least rent is paid. The next movie is American Pie The Book of Love, and I want to quickly denounce this movie because I fucking hate it, and it's only on here because it has a calculatable vomit feature. We see Robin friends try and get laid at a party all the while drinking beer in party cups. If you believe my calculations, each cup of that beer would cost about $2.40 each. After seeing his girlfriend in bed with Stifler, Rob continues to drink and the humour continues to not exist. However, Rob only has a shot of vodka from a 750ml bottle, and assuming the bottle of vodka was 35 bucks, that would mean 93 cents was had. After the tramp stamp of a chick makes Rob tattoo some vomit onto her back, he spews out about what we saw him have. Since a few hours had passed since the beer we saw, about 35 cents worth of the 240 was digested, leaving 210. A total of $3.03 .03 was lost, and after calculating inflation from 2009, this would be 371 today. Day. This slice of Australian pie would be costing Rob $4.87 and I have to end this segment by saying fuck this movie yet again. In conclusion, nothing much. Well you didn't need to hear me regurgitate what I've said before, this was done for fun and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next April Fools for another unusual video like this one, but you'll see another upload from me sooner than then.